All right, so we're here doing some more Savage and Sage workouts. What I've got behind me is a big wooden beam I found was ripped out of the ground during the last thunderstorm. So I picked it up one night late and I walked it all the way back to my backyard, about 200 yards with it, and uh, it's a fantastic training piece. It's it's strange. It's not uniform weight. It's not anything you can find in the gym. You know, that's what we always try to do here is find some random things and. Uh, do really random things with them. So basically what we're going to do here is I'm going to transition this onto my shoulder from the ground. You know, this, there's no handles, there's no convenient ways to pick it up like you'll find in the weight room. So what you've got to do is you've got to use body mechanics to figure out a way to transfer this weight from the ground to on top of your shoulder. So what I'm going to do here, you'll see me do it, and uh, I'll do it one time fast, and then I'll probably do the other shoulder and do a little bit slower and explain it as I go. But you're just gonna straight deadlift it up off the ground one end. Once you get up in the air, you're gonna walk it up to get to the center of gravity so it'll come down on your shoulder at the center of gravity. What you're doing is it's, it's very subtle, but it's a very quick dip and rip. When you have it on your shoulder, you dip down and come up and forward, and it's gonna take that weight, use your shoulder as the fulcrum, and, and bring and use gravity to help get this on your shoulder. So this is a very functional and practical lift. Because, like I said, there's no handles. You don't find handles in nature unless you're really lucky. But here we go. I'll, I'll demo it real quick. I don't know how much this weighs. I'm guessing 200 pounds, but we'll see. Maybe 250. So I've deadlifted it and locked it up. It's about the point where I want to use my shoulder as a fulcrum, so I'm going to drop it right there. And we'll probably lose some audio um, because of the beam, but once I get out on my shoulder, you're going to see the dip and rip up onto the shoulder. There's this now. Beautiful, huh?